Hey everyone and welcome to my coloring update, I think number 8, I am not 100% sure, but I think it's number 8 or number 7. I have been going on this for a little too much, I have to remember the numbers now. But yeah, it has been a, a productive month of coloring, it has been a non-productive month in my personal life, if you follow my channel you know all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I have been um, like anxiety coloring and trying to like keep my mind off of things and keep my mind busy. So I have just been coloring up a storm. I think I have about 16 finished pages for this month, which is a lot because I don't know if you can tell I've been like coloring up a storm and trying to like shut my mind off with coloring and everything like that. But before I get into showing that, I want to give a shout out to a new colorist who is joining and starting to have the community and doing videos. Well, they've already been in the community, but they're going to start doing videos in the month of August. And that person is the Modernist Colorist. I have it wrote down here just in case you want to, uh, I to look it up. But the link will be in the top of the, uh, the description bar below to check out the channel. Um, they have been a big supporter of my channel since I think the first month, actually. I'm not 100% sure. I could probably look it up because uh, I save everyone who's subscribe to my channel because it goes right to my um, Gmail account. But I think, I've, I've, if my memory serves correct, I think that they have been around since the first month of me starting in January. So they have been here for a while and they are starting up a channel. So I'm super excited to see what uh, content they have and to see what they put out. So I want to share all of the love back because they have been very supportive, giving kind words, everything like that, and a lot, uh, almost all my videos. So I want to, uh, to leave that down in the description bar below. So definitely go over there, give them a sub. If the video is up by the time, if the first video is up by the time um, this one is up, go ahead and give them some love back on their video. So the, I'll leave it right here for a couple seconds. Uh, that way you can write down just in case. I don't know how it works on mobile if you can click links in the description or what. So that is how you spell it. Just remember to put the U in colorist. So definitely I uh, go check their channel out and give them a warm welcome to the color tube community. Okay, so before I get on to what I finished, I have some color long news and some uh, news, some color long news as well as some color and chats that I'm gonna be doing next month and the month after probably. So, uh, if you know about the move-in situation, you know I push back all my color longs um, to the middle of next month. So, on August 22nd till the end of September, we are going to be coloring from Fantasia by Nicholas F. Chandra And we are going to be doing this page right here. Um, I don't, I, I plan on doing hopefully two, but I don't know how long this picture is going to do because you see how much detail it is and this, her face will probably be the whole, probably first part probably of it, but I'm planning on doing hopefully two pictures, if not, this will be one picture here, um, but this would be the color long for August 22nd through the end of September, um, so yeah, and if I do finish this page, um, you're going to do this guy here and do it kind of like as a double page going over or I'm going to probably do a different one in here because there are so many beautiful books I really want to do this one I really want to do this one but I'm trying to say this one for Halloween so there's just plenty plenty of amazing amazing pictures in this book that I can do as a second image so this starts August 22nd and then goes to the end of September the next one I'm going to do as a color and chat, and that's from the Curiosity Shop by Chris Price. I was asked if I could do this one, and I have been wanting to color in this book, so it's definitely the perfect time to do it. And we're going to be doing these owls right here in the display cases. Um, I'm I, The only thing I know I'm going to do, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. Let me move this over. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this with a lot of pencils. I know I'm going to do these glasses here. Um in a um, pearlescent watercolor to give them like a kind of like a shine to them um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do a lot of them in marker or color pencil but this is going to be color and chat probably in the first few I, a week like a week or two of August and get this one done because I really want to color in this book um, but I do know I'm going to test out watercolors on paper to see how it is um, if I end up doing a different picture for my color and chat you know why, because the watercolors didn't work and I scrapped it and threw away the page because I can exacto knife it out. And I probably am going to actually exacto knife it out um, to color on it and then just slip it back in the book because this book is really, really huge. And actually, no, well, without coloring, yeah. So maybe I'm not sure, but I know I'm going to use some pearlescent watercolors. Hold on, let me see if I can reach across. Ugh. 
that would have been a little more graceful, you know, if I pre-planned it. But I'm going to use um, the, this watercolor set right here. Um, this pearlescent watercolor set. I'm going to use either this white one or this kind of like baby blue one here. I was going to use this one here as kind of like a like a rose goldish color, like a peachy color, but I like the white one and the blue one because it kind of would be like what would be like in the display case itself. So I'm going to use that for the glass and I'm just going to go over the whole image here and then just color in because with these paints here to set, um, if you use um, pencil over, it will come out like with a, sh uh, like a sparkly to it, like a sheen to it. So I'm going to use that for the glasses. And that will be a color and chat coming very, very soon. And I might even have the first part pretty much filling the first part when I'm uploading this. I'm not sure. And the next one, I'm definitely going to do a color and chat or tutorial from. And that is The Beauty of Horror 3 by Alan Robert. I was sent this book by a subscriber. And I just got it in the mail today as I film this. I'm filming this on Saturday night, so the 28th. I'm um, filming this a little early because I know I'm not going to finish any more. Um, I might finish one page, but I'm not going to finish too many pages this month anymore. But I got this book and I am in love with this book. The paper is amazing. The pictures are just so beautiful. They're, they're gross and gory, but they're so, so beautiful. And the pages, uh, the page I'm doing right now is this one right here. Um, the throw ahead and dunk the dead. I'm actually going to do this as a one page spread, even though you can see it is meant to be like a two page spread, but they are kind of empty. And I think what I'm going to do is, this is Goriana, or not Guliana, Guliana, not Goriana. I keep saying Goriana, I said Guliana. This is Guliana, and I wrote down all of the color combinations today in my swatch book. And I am going to be doing her the same exact colors throughout the entire book. Um, she's going to have this green skin here. Um, she's going to have the same purple hair. Um, she does change outfits, so it probably will be either this yellow color or this blue color or a mix of these blue colors together. And then her bow is the same blue, and then the skull. Uh, I just have this skull, skull color, and then the skin here, she has... Hold on, let me just move the camera down easier. If I, there we go. She has these kind of like little peeled patches here, so I put them as like more like um, neutral skin, like maybe she... Because she's patched together, you know, so I figured maybe that's like newer skin, like it didn't rot or nothing like that yet. So I'm going to start writing all the colors down and that way I can do Guliana the same exact way throughout the book because she is, of course, throughout the whole book and this book is super creepy. I'm going to do a flip through on it and I am going to do a color and chat with this page right here, the Whack a Soul Knock em Dead page with the creepy creepy clown and i just love it. this page was almost the one i first i did first because it's just so so beautiful but i decided that i want to do the not uh, the dunk ahead one or dunk the dead one and what i'm going to be doing if i had to put my computer chair down so i can see better fit better is i'm going to color this in and i'm going to do the sign next but i think for the background instead of doing acrylic paints i'm going to um i'm going to draw circles on them and then like maybe put like a string make it look like balloons are flowing in the background just put like the dots in the background because there's a lot of pictures that are just kind of like like this where it has like the background like this here i do the probably like black acrylic paint but like ones like this page here i probably do like the balloons because i can remember to do that as it goes to the second page there but i'm in love with this book it's so gorgeous you know I'm in love with the book when I start like, like when I start like, keeping on the notes to, like that for because I have notes all strung out around my room for different books like this book, um, Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. I have a page somewhere, I think it's over my collection yet. Um, that I have like set aside for it. Um, and I have like a sheet of like different ones I want to do with like the Misfits book. So yeah, I'm in love with this book, and you'll definitely be seeing more pages from that finished next month as well as the color and chat from this for next month just keep in mind maybe next month september but it'll definitely be coming i know i'm going that's what that's what i've got to announce the tutorial i'm going to do a tutorial on how i colored guliana because i really like how she came out i like the color combinations so i'm going to do a tutorial on how i colored guliana i don't know which picture it's going to be yet but it's going to be one where you can kind of like, you know, see her more, like maybe like this page right here or something like that. But I'm going to do a tutorial on how I color Guliana um, and that will fit for my how I color um, 
green skin tutorial. So the remainder of the books are ones that have finished pages in it or um, whips and then pictures of course I'm going to do more future pages in. So one of the big color longs that were going on for the month of July was Christmas in July and I focused on coloring from the Creative Haven um, an old-fashioned Christmas coloring book, and I color all these pictures with some new Sharpies. If you watch my coloring haul, um, I got some new Sharpies, so I've been coloring really, really heavily with Sharpies, and I really love them. They're probably, like, one of my new favorite ones, so I got, it's getting me really excited to get a pack of the Cali Art markers, um, so yeah, I'm gonna definitely pay picking up some of them soon because I had so much fun with the Sharpies. Um, I was gonna do this one, and I might be able to do it, but I'm not sure, because I'm not, I'm, I've kind of colored myself out with Christmas pages this month. So, yeah, I did this page, which is the Merry Christmas page with Santa, and I used, of course, Sharpies throughout the whole- Oop, hold on, I'm gonna end this real quick and put this up a little higher. Hey everyone, so sorry I had to uh, insert this in the middle of the video. I actually forgot to put, I do a, put a picture in there. Um, I had this one on my shelf underneath all the Jade Summers. I forgot to put it in the video, but I did do a picture from the adult coloring fanfare. It's from Jade Summer, and I did- this page right here from the mermaid coloring book i did this one for two different color longs this uh, month i did it for um nautical neverland um which was hosted by color and chat with sammy and sorry about my nail i, I see my hand like this because i just dyed my hair um and the glove failed but i did it for nautical neverland that was hosted by color and chat with sammy and Kate's Calling Haven, and then also did it for Tasia's July uh, aquatic theme. So I did two of one, and I did this with the Arteza colored pencils, and then just up in here, you can see on the bubbles, I just did it with stickles, and I um, just circled them out with, oops, there you go, with um, white gel pen, and then the rest is the Arteza pencils. But I'm really happy with how this came out. It's probably one of my favorite ones I've ever done with Jade Summer. So now back to the stuff I filmed the other day. Okay, that is much better. So I did, where'd it go? I did this, like, of course, all Sharpies. And I just absolutely love how it came out. The colors, combination, everything like that. And I was so happy that the pack actually had, like, a gray Sharpie in there. Because you can do Santa a lot better with gray hair than you could with anything else. And of course, you know, put something in the back that does bleed through heavily. Then I finally finished up my Nutcracker picture. I started this one I got, I think, in May, or I think, yeah, May, I think I got it, and this one in, and I did this, the background here, this is, uh, this is Crayola Super Tip, Prisma Color Pencils, um, and then I did these right here with Sharpie markers. Then, I did the Angel here. And I'm really happy with how she came out. And of course, the wings here I did with some stickles because, you know, you have to have like a shiny angel. Because like Christmas seeds and stuff like that, so I can put a lot of stickles on there. And I kind of went a little overboard with the stickles. But, you know, nothing says how to shine like a whole bunch of stickles on your page. And then this was the first one I did with the Sharpies. And this one is just the partridge in a pear tree I, I, um, picture. And I'm really happy with how this came out. This is the first one I did with them. And I absolutely fell in love with coloring my Sharpies. So I'm definitely going to be doing more with, oops, more with um, my Sharpies and more coloring with the markers in the future. And this one I'll definitely be putting a dent more in uh, around when Christmas comes along because I love every single picture in this book. It's on the floor because I'm done with that one. And, Okay, and now the coughing fit that I just had was just randomly done. I have uh, some finished pages in The Adventures of Pinocchio by Fabiana Atanasio. This is my absolute favorite, favorite Fabiana book. I just fell in love with this book this month, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to do more pictures in this month, this month, but I kind of had like a color book overload where I just did like a whole bunch of other things. I didn't come back around to it. I was actually focused, I was going to think about focusing mostly on this. Focusing on mostly doing just this book this month, but I ended up of course, go with other books after a little bit. So I ended up doing this page right here. I did these pairs. The background is acrylic paint, and then these is all just gel pen right here. Um, I just used a whole bunch of gel pen. You see that ones that have like glitter and reflective there. These are the Milky Pop and Sparkle Pops, and then these ones. These ones are just. Um, I think these ones are here over here are the scented one scented gel pens, and this ones over here are you write dude like write like you're writing 
uh, uh, gel pens, but I absolutely love how this one came out. I wasn't really a big fan of the background, the background color, but I still like it as a finished product. And then I did, make sure I didn't do any more between there. Yeah, okay. I did this page here. I did these as a double page spread. I did this page here, the cat, and I did this one just in a mixed bag of I wanted. I just kind of picked, I didn't stick to a theme, I just kind of picked um, the colors I wanted to do. And then I did the waves of the different colors here in like yellow, pink, you know, pink, uh, pinks, yellow, and white ones. And then I just, like I said, just picked random colors that I did together that I liked. And then this one over here, I probably my favorite of the two. And I did this one with only neon colors and then the bubbles here. And I outlined the bubbles with a white gel pen. And no, I did not freehand all these bubbles. These are just a quarter I traced in a circle because I cannot draw a perfect circle. So I just took, I took a quarter and it came out perfect. So, and this is what I was talking about doing with the, um, the Beauty of Horror 3 book where you just took like a, a quarter to a circle and then just draw like a string down to it, have like a balloons float in the background. But I love how this one turned out, how they look both together. Um, let's see, there you go. You see a little bit better of them close together. But I absolutely love, love, love how this one turned out. I'm definitely going to be doing more of this book soon. I think the next one I want to do is these two pages here, the portrait of Pinocchio and a uh, picture of um, Jiminy. Well, I name the Jiminy Cricket, or this one here, where they're escaping the whale's mouth. I don't want you to do either one of those two, but I definitely want to do more of this book. So it's like I said, my favorite uh, Fabian Atanasio book. Then I have a whip that I started for Coloring Christmas in July from Garfield, Uninspir Uninspiring Quotes. Um, and I just didn't pick this one back up because I wasn't in the mood for it after I started coloring it. And that was this, uh, the holiday season equals food. And I was using these with the Artezas and I was just straight coloring them together. I wasn't blending or nothing like that. I was just picking out one color I wanted to use and picking it up because I felt like more like reminiscent of the Garfield comics. And I'll probably pick this one up again when it comes back to the Christmas season, but I haven't felt the need to pick it back up yet. The next book was sent to me by a subscriber. Next two books actually were sent to me by a subscriber. And oh my God, I absolutely love this book. It's one of my favorites. Um, the Adventures of Pinocchio, this one here, are like my two favorite books of all time, besides now Beauty of Horror as well. Beauty of Horror, like I have the top three favorites now. Um, and that is Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. I got this book in the beginning of July, and within the first week, I did four pictures in this book. I loved it so much. Um, I used all Prisma color pencils, and I think some acrylic paints or watercolor paints. I'm not 100% sure. I have to look at the pictures again. Uh, this one here, I had a. This one here, I wanted to do the gel uh, gel pens on the uh, the grasshopper, and then the background here is. Um, Dear went watercolor pencils. I really love how the background came out in the uh, in the grasshopper. And then I started doing the flowers. I hated how the flowers were coming out. Um, I thought I ruined the picture, so I just like put black acrylic paint over them, this, uh, the the leaves here and the stem, and then it turned out like this. It was kind of like made it so it was, the grasshopper was the main focus, and I really love how the picture came out now. I just wish that the flowers didn't come out so horrible that I had to color over it, but I still really like the finished product. Next one here. I have, uh, I, I did this one, and my original plan for this was to do this in, uh, in the black acrylic paint and then do this in the green acrylic paint, but I didn't like how the green was coming out, it was coming out like patchy, so I did it with black as well, and then I did um, some gel pens in there, and I left the inside of it white because that would make it look like it's a nighttime scene, and if you put the keys, uh, the keys from this side in there, you would unlock like the daytime and turn the night off and then these speckles that I put on there I don't know how I will see it but they are gold um paint and gold acrylic paint that I just kind of like wet I like watered it down and then just like took a paintbrush and kind of like flicked it all around but I really like how it came out um I think I still do like um white as like my color of choice for like putting the speckles and like flicking on there but I didn't want no white in the picture besides I was in through there so I used the gold and I do love how this one turned out I really do um and then I think that is it for up here yes next one I did no oh, hold on let me put 
No, you know what? No, it doesn't really matter. I put, I did this one right here, which I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favorite ones I've ever done, um, coloring wise. The back is black acrylic paint. The splatters, of course, are the white splatters, but I love how the jewels came out. Like, lower you down so you can see the jewels. Um, the jewels are um, pearlescent watercolor paint, the same one I showed you at the beginning of this video. I just kind of did one layer, one or two layers of it, let it dry. The, I did, I did a silver gel pen, the Sparkle Pop silver gel pen for the coin, and then I just outlined it all with, um, a white gel pen, and then this little thing there is just a little paint pen. Um, but I absolutely love it. Um, there were kind of like stamens coming out of the flowers, but I didn't feel like doing that. I wanted the main focus to be coming out was the jewels so i just painted over the stamens but i absolutely this is one of my favorite um pictures that i've ever done so i absolutely love it and i think i will do this for the jewels like throughout the rest of the book where i just put in the um pearlescent paints and then just kind of like draw over the white lines over all the jewels so yeah this is one i want i'm like really really proud of and i love it because it's like very simple but like i love it so much and it's beautiful so and then next one i want to do in this book is this one right here my idea for it is to do the face and the yeah just the face in like normal colors and then i want to do like all of the area of the skin behind all of the flowers um let's see if i can just like there we, oh i can actually zoom i finally figured out how to do it i want to do like all of the inside here of the flowers in um i was thinking either doing a black gel pen kind of like do like um I forget the technique is called for tattooing, but they have a tattoo like where you put it like all of your arm in like black and just like kind of like block it off. So you put it like from your, like, your elbow down to like your wrist and all black. Uh, so you're going to do that with the black gel pen or I'm going to take um, a blue gel pen or a green gel pen or just something like that and just kind of like block the whole background out of her skin um, to kind of like make it look like it's all tattooed with the flowers. I'm going to do all the flowers and like gel pen to make it look like it is like a tattoo and not just like a like a pen and I was gonna do the hand the same way as well and then just do um the I was gonna do like the hand um I'll probably do the hand like um in like this part over the knuckles are like from the knuckles down in the same skin tone as her face but then like do the fingers in the same color as the skin I'm not sure yet or do like the fingers the same color as the face and then do the hand I'm not sure yet but this will be the next one let's see if I can there well I can zoom back up for so, for so long, my camera would not, my phone would not do that, and now it just randomly does it. So, I'm happy that I did it, but I'm like, why now? Like, why after seven months of doing this, I uh, color to be do this? And this was the first picture that I did in this book. Um, this one is with um, uh, Prismacolor pencils for the hair, the skin, the flowers. Um, the crown is. Um, as you can see, kind of like a gold gel pen, and I just did like one Prisma, and the background here is the Dermot watercolor pencils, and I just kind of did like a red one to an orange one, sorry, hiccup, yellow, and I just repeated it for the background, and then I put a little bit, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, I put a little bit of stickles on the red flowers there. Just kind of like have them like pop up and be different. This was the first one I did in the book, and I absolutely love it, and if you're wondering, None of the watercolors, none of the watercolors bleed through at all. So you can do watercolors on this page. Where did the other picture go? There one. And I was gonna do a picture in here of um, something following the tutorials from the always from always coloring uh, Katrine, who sadly passed away this month, but. It was one of the things I was super busy and I was very kind of like emotional so I didn't want to like do like a emotional picture for all that but I definitely will. I'm planning on picking up um, Daydream which was her favorite book and I'm going to do the Toad picture and I'm going to follow her tutorial on it. I think that was the picture that she did a tutorial on. I'm going to do the whole picture of that with the tutorial of her and memory of her but right now I just... I had so many emotions going this month, I didn't want to uh, focus on that because it was a very sad thing and my thoughts and prayers were, are with her family, so I just, I couldn't do it, so like I wanted to like, just kind of like, not think, focus about doing it like emotional picture, but I wanted to do it, so I will definitely do it in the future, but just, I can't right now, so, but I'm definitely going to do more pictures from here, and I just absolutely love this book, so thank you so much to the subscriber who sent this. I leave it out. I want to do more pictures in there. I'm probably putting one. I'm trying to separate them with like pictures of what I want to do, which ones I want to put away. 
So this next one was sent by the same subscriber, and I just have a whip in here. Um, I have two whips in here, actually, and I did this one in my color and ketchup or color and update, uh, my second one. Um, this is with all Prismas, um, a gel, uh, an ink roller pen, and then a paint for cash for coal. I'm kind of copying this picture in the back here that the uh, uh, that white stag has in the back. But yeah, I'm kind of this. I love how it came out. I just haven't had, like, this is one of the books that I'm kind of like page and I'm trying to intimidate by now because I love how it came out. So I'm like, I don't want to ruin it, so I don't want to color it. So I'm like, I'm just going to leave it as a whip for now. Um, and I did this one to test out the Artezas on here. And I'm going to do a blue skin tutorial on this with Prismas. But I want to kind of like lay the groundwork for the Artezas. And that's what I'm going to look. I'm going to try to copy this skin right here in Prismas. So I'm definitely going to be doing this one. So I'm want to do more in the White Stag book and finish it up, uh, or Misfits number one, because Misfits are like super creepy and super cute. I love them. And then from the Misfits Coloring Heaven edition, I didn't do any pictures inside, but I did do the cover of uh, the book. So I'm going to lift you up and show you. So I did this in a whole bunch of different markers. And I just did it. I did these the same as I colored the pictures. So I'm going to do this one and this one here the same. And then I just did it up here, and you can see the little float girl there. And then I blacked out the spine, where it's had all inf information. And then the background here, I did this with the blue highlighter, and then these with Sharpie here, and then I just did this night sky. I tried to do this with, I did this with, with um, toilet paper, because I didn't have a tissue or anything like that, a baby wipe, so um, it worked, but um, you will have a little bit just like wipe it off because um, the best way to describe that without going into detail or I try to describe it is the remnants you see in the Charmin commercial was on the book I had to wipe off really quick and if you are going to use Sharpie for this make sure you do put something in the back of it because it will bleed through even on the covers so that is the cover of the Misfits special that I did and I'm definitely going to be working on more of these soon because they're amazing this one is what I'm going to do for the blue skin tutorial with the prisons. And then I did three pictures from the fairy tale special, the Hanlon special. I did the cover as well with Sharpies. Um, her skin came out a little bit more orange, but I still do like it. So, um, and once again, I did blade through, so be careful. Um, I finally, finally finished the Beauty and the Beast page. And this page here took me a month, pretty much. It took me about three weeks, but about a month. Of doing and I absolutely love how it turned out let me just go ahead and zoom in so you can see um I love how the hair turned out if you want to do the hair it's prism color um it's blue lake china blue ultramarine and black uh what I did was I took blue lake as my lightest color and then it kind of like went in there with china blue ultramarine and black and every single individual strand um the skin here that I did for him is sand light umber chestnut dark umber and espresso and his coat here is in henna, raspberry, mahogany red, crimson lake, and Tuscan red, all prisma colors. I don't want the jacket one, so I'm going to take this off. But I want to save these two color, the black and the skin color combination, to swatch out um, in my swatch book. So I just put it right here because those are two of my favorite color combinations right now. So I did that, and then and her um, the. The lashes here are a rollerball ink pen that you can get the Dollar Tree. Um, I love it. It does bleed through a bit over here. You can see it bleeds through, but I love how that one turned out. And that was, like I said, a month's worth of working. And I just did like one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Oops, on the page a little. I think I'm actually going to might be cutting this one out and put it in a frame because I really do like this one. This one I did with Sharpie markers, and I kind of. I don't know how well you will pick it. I kind of like try to blend the two dark purples together so you can see like a little bit of a nose. But I would love the chest our cat, so I did this one um, together. And then I did just a little bit of stickles on the mouth just to make it a little shine because that would be going, you know, up there. There's little stickles there, eyes as well. So I really I had fun with this one. Um, people have been uploading King of the Hill episodes on YouTube. I watched that while calling this because that's like one of my favorite TV shows of all times. And then I did her, which is this, my, like, kind of, like, punk version of Alice in Wonderland. I did her with Sharpie markers. Um, the skin tone, I think, is a water-based marker, and then gel pens. 
and I kind of wanted to leave her like white and kind of like be like um where all the color was down where the tattoos were not her uh, her face but I really like this one I think this one might be in her tattoo darling books I'm not sure but I really like this one it was super super fun I did this with sharpies and a little bit of watercolor pencils or markers um not watercolor but uh, markers water based markers which were the faber castell dual tip and the sergeant art markers and then i think that is it in here yes and i'm not gonna put this one on my colored list for coming up because i'm kind of handling out after this month next one i did was from one of my new books if you watched my newest lewis my newest haul and that is bold spring time to color i was in the mood to do something with gel pens just colored gel pens so i picked out this one here to do and i just did this with three three four let's see one two three four five i made six different gel pens seven different gel pens and i really love how this one turned out but be warned if you get this book um, the paper in here is not very good, and the gel pens do bleed through ever so slightly. You see it ghosting through, so yeah. Um, I like how it turned out, but I know now like the lighter colors I can use, but not the darker colors like the blue, the red, or the dark green. Or the, yeah, the red. So I can't do those colors, but I can do that. But I'm definitely going to save this book for more time. Springtime next uh, season or next year because I really do like this book. And by the time this is uploaded, the flip through will be up on my channel of this. Then I have a whip and a finish in Romantic Country. The whip I am doing right now is this page right here. Um, I only have... only have... The brickwork a little bit here and the trees here to do and then i want to put some stars in the sky but i did this one i want to test out with the moon here i don't know how well let's see there you go a little bit of the sparkling giant paint that i got from wal or not walmart the dollar tree and then this is with the artesa pencils the artesa pencils work the best on the romantic country books um so i want to do that one and the glitter does come off a little bit, so I had to hairspray this down. That's why this page is here, so it doesn't get stuck to this page over here. And then I did, as a finished page, this one here, the Ambrose 3. And this one, again, is with the Artezas. Why am I lifting the page up? There you go. Boom. With the Arteza pencils. And they, they work really, really well. Um, they don't feel like extra waxy like the Prisma's doing this paper. And I like it. And as you can tell, I did something different here. This one had another page here. Not page, another blanket here. But I didn't really feel like doing it. So I just blacked out and drew strings between these little patches here. To kind of sail. I don't think it's going to sail, uh, sail very well. But um, I still like how I did it. I put little stickles here on the feather. On the stars here and the moon here and the moon here. And then on the jewels. So you can kind of like see it sparkling a little bit. You won't be able to probably see that much. But if you're wondering, the Artezas work the best on the Romantic Country pictures. And I'll definitely be doing more in here. I'll be finishing up this whip here and doing more in Romantic Country too. Because Romantic Country the Second Tale is my favorite book of all times. Over not all times of the Romantic Country books. Let me get a drink here. See, so yeah, I love everything about the um, the Second Tale. So the next three books, the final three books of this video, are going to be ones I want to do uh, some pages and some future pages. So I want to do one here in the, uh, of Mysterious Plants by A. Kona. I want to do this one right here from the Planet of Flowers. This is the Planet of Flowers. And it's one of my favorite ones. Um, a flip through of this book will also be on my channel by the time you see this. But it's an absolutely beautiful book and I want to do pictures in here. Because this is just, like, it's an amazing one. I think I want to go through and do all the worlds. Like the plants. And just do, like, the plant there. Plant of snow, you know, like so, like that, like planet of forest, I think. Yeah, forest plant, just do like all those different worlds. Next to our Johanna Bassford, it's gonna be really in the Johanna Bassford mood. I want to do a magical jungle book, and this is one of, one of my books where I do from front to uh, front to back. I've done the front page, the very janky, um colored by page with my little um, anamorphic blob named Fred and then I was going to do I haven't done these ones yet because I haven't been in the mood for them I was going to do this Dell page spread but I don't feel like in the mood for it so I'm going to let myself veto pictures into them 
in order. And if I just don't want to veto a picture, I can veto a picture, but I want to do this monkey coming out of the book here. And I'll work my through because I really like this one. I like this one. I like those two. I like that one. I like those two. This one I'll probably veto as well. I'll probably veto the double page, a lot of the double pagers, and just do the single ones. But I want to do this one, so I'll definitely try getting this one this month. If not, I will do a page in Lost Ocean. I do not have one picked out, but um, I'll definitely do a picture in here. These are very tiny pages, so definitely with gel pens, I'll definitely do a page in here. Like you see how small it is, like the tiny little details in through there, um, and through there. But yeah. I will definitely be doing a picture in here, hopefully soon, if not in a magical jungle. So that is my extremely, extremely long coloring update with a whole bunch of pictures in it. I hope you all enjoyed the pictures that I colored this month and what I have planned for the color longs, color chats. And don't also, I also forget, don't forget to go uh, subscribe to uh, the Modernist Colorist, Modernist Colorist who has been a big supporter of me, and I want to definitely am excited to see their videos. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all have an amazing day, and happy coloring.